So welcome everybody. It is September the 27th. It's a Friday evening and we are at the, the Korea channel. So thank you everybody for showing up. Thank you for making the time. Um, yes, please, thank you. Please, uh, if you can just dim the lights a little bit. Thank you. So let's just start with a, a short prayer so that it helps me to get present and hopefully help you all to get present as well so that you can let go of whatever it is that's been on your mind during the day. So just take a deep breath. And then just let everything go. Let your thoughts go. And just set the intention to give to yourself this, the rest of the next 40, 60 minutes, or however long this is going to take. And just be here with this group of wonderful people that are scattered here to listen to a loving message from Korea. So just continue to breathe in easily and effortlessly and then breathe out. And the more you breathe out, just get more and more present. Present to what is happening inside your body. Is this body truly is your best companion? It allows you to experience in this world. It allows you to be with all the other alternative selves, the alternative parts of who you are. To help one another, to make this experience a much more enjoyable, beautiful creation. And start to shift your attention into your heart area. Allow your energy and focus start to shift to your heart. And feel your heart growing. Growing energetically, feel that it is starting, that something is moving around your heart area. It's really your heart energy growing bigger and expanding more. So that you actually start to connect with everyone else that is in this room. Hi. 
feel that oneness that is within this room and start to expand that oneness so that it includes the whole city. And expand it even further so that it includes the whole earth. That's a new energy that is on earth right now. Maybe you can feel it, or maybe not. Maybe all you can feel is just all these emotions within you that is, seems to be coming up. It seems to be a sort of intensity. It's like all of a sudden, you cannot delay anymore. Whatever it is, that you are here on earth to experience, to create, to co-create. Now is the time to start to do it. That is why you're feeling this anguish, anxiety. It's not a bad thing. It's really the universe co-creating with you and giving you that extra push. At first, it may come as a little bit of overwhelm. Energy is just too much. The pressure is just slightly too much. But the energy is here to help you make that decision to no longer sit on the fence. And this is what the energy is doing. That is why your emotions seem to be heightened. That is why everything in your life right now seems to be either one extreme or the other extreme. Either everything is just coming up right up against your face or nothing. You just seem to be completely abandoned by the universe. They are both actually implications from the universe. If you feel like you are totally up against the wall, then the universe is pushing you to go. and pick the direction that you needed to go. It's no longer time to hold back or be indecisive. And if you're feeling the other extreme, it's like nothing is happening in your life, then the universe is actually asking you, is this what you come here to do? Nothing at all? And if it is not, if you do feel within your heart that there must be something that is inviting you, the universe is inviting you to start exploring who you truly are, dig deeper, and stop throwing yourself. with duties that is robbing you of your passion, that is making you feel isolated, because it is time for you to connect back to why you come here in the first place, and why it is time for you to wake up, wake yourself up. Start to remember what it is that you have promised 
that we are here to explore in this lifetime. And it's not going to be hard. It's never hard if you're doing what it is that you're supposed to do. It may be hard at first, but once you take a direction, once you start the first step, then you find that the next step, and then the next step, you start to show up. It's not about knowing 10 steps ahead anymore. It's just the next step. Because while the universe gives you the next step, it is actually still trying to co-create with everyone else so that the second step is going to show up just at the right time. Not before, but at the right time. The following step will show up. You can feel within your heart now. Feel that connection. You do feel that there is not just your heart, but right below your heart, there is actually a connection, an energy. And it's building up there. That energy, that part of your body, is actually your connection to the rest of the human collective. When you feel that space that is maybe about two or three inches below the center of your ribs, that just your connection to the rest of humanity. Feel the energy starting to connect there. That part of you is being energized because it's a collective, a human collective. You need it everyone to start to pull their own weight to start to contribute to the whole collective you're here not just for yourself you're here for everyone else as well and when you are able to Use your own gift. The gifts that you have been born with in this lifetime. And offer that to the whole human collective. Then everyone wins. You get to find out who you are and the rest of the human collective. That's to co-create with you gets to benefit from your gifts and be able to exchange everyone else's gifts with you. And that is how we all work together. Allow your heart to expand. Let it flow out. Let it 
loved ones. To touch everyone else. And feel the energy of love that is all around us now. Feel your heart starting to tingle. Feel your head starting to tingle. This room is actually filled with all your guides. All your loved ones that has passed over. To a different realm. They are here to support you in spirit. There's a lot of support and help and love. It's not the physical support. It is very real support. Yes, energetically. They're actually helping you to create connections so that when you start to take a direction, they have already made all the connections to the people that you will meet so that when you actually see them, there is a kind of familiarity that they recognize. And on some level, they know that even though they may be the first time they have ever set eyes on you, they know that it is right to connect with you. It is right to co-create with you. And that's because all the spiritual help has done the groundwork for you. But they still need you to physically take the steps that feels right for you. That's the help of spirit. That's the love of spirit. Spirit does not touch you. And even if you decided that Maybe I need to wait a little longer. That still is okay. Because spirit won't judge you if you're not ready to share your gift. Then someone else with similar gifts. They get the tap on their shoulder to step up. And this time around, when the energy pushes you again, perhaps you'll be ready at that time. Be with them. Start to look for ways that you can start to become more of who you truly are. To follow your heart's desire.
and to take that, take that risk. Perhaps you're not willing to, or not ready to risk everything. But you are ready to risk just a little, just a first. And when you feel the support, and perhaps you're ready to take a little bit more risk. And then one step down the road, when you look back, you'll be amazed how much you have accomplished just by taking small steps. It's just now empty. Empty our mind. Empty our mind of all the beliefs that we are not enough, the beliefs that we need another certificate, the beliefs that we start to wait for the perfect moment. Let's set go of those beliefs that is stopping us from even taking the first step. And then all of those doubts, so that all of those self-criticisms Let all those perfectionism just step aside and we remember, remind ourselves that we are human. That means we are never going to be perfect. Perfection. It's a misguided goal. Be brave. And also know that. There is time. As you take the first step, there is time to craft the next step. So you don't need to know all 10 steps, or 20 steps, or even the 100th step. You just need to know the first step. Take the action. Action is why we decided as eternal souls to take a form. Because a form can have action. And the action is not going to be perfect. It will be messy. It will be full of doubts. It may be full of Little mistakes, that's okay. And that's what we're here to experience. We're here to experience the imperfections. And be able to look at the imperfections and not take ourselves too seriously. And be able to laugh at our own mistakes and enjoy making those little mistakes or maybe even enjoy making those big mistakes because making mistakes is how we learn.
okay to make mistakes. It's okay to take a step and another five steps and then discover that we may need to backtrack a little and take a slightly different direction. Those are not mistakes. Those are all part of the journey. That's how you learn about who you are. That's how you learn about how best to co-create with the rest of humanity. I just feel Feel this vortex of energy that is starting to suck out all the doubts, the insecurities, as much as you're willing to let go of them, as much as you're willing to make the mistakes. You take the step. Let the energy take away those programs, those energies that are heavy and weighing you down, not allowing you to think new thoughts. have new experiences. Allow your heart to expand, to be so wide open that you can actually feel the hearts of other people as well. You can be able to understand where they're coming from. and be able to co-create with them. In the energy of love, in light, because at a spiritual level, we are all one. Even though the spirit, even though at the physical level, we may look like we are separate at the spiritual level, we are all part of the creative source. When we can let go of this illusion of separation, start to feel secure and safe. You don't have to worry about survival anymore. Survival is only at risk when we accept separate from source, and when we buy into that illusion, then that's all the anxiety start to come in and whisper in our ears that we're not safe. 
because you're separate. And in spirit, we're all part of one. We're here to support one another. It is safe. It is fun. And it is joyful. It is beautiful. And just imagine, imagine that you are with me at a mirror. Allow yourself to see into your own eyes. And in the mirror, Recognize that you are part of the creative source. You are so much love. You are supported. To support you all we can see is the brilliance the light in you when we look at you it is as though we're looking at the Sun all we can see is just your brilliance your light. That is what spirit sees in you. Not your human form. But the spark of the creative source that is within you. And it is outside of you. It is all around you. That is what we see. That is what we want you to see as well. The next time when we look into the mirror, we want you to just see how beautiful magnificent you are. How unique. How wonderful you have been created. There are no two of you that are exactly alike. It just does not happen in nature. And that is how you know. That you are beautiful. Don't allow the other standards that society is trying to put on you. That you need to be a certain height, a certain color, <clears throat> a certain weight to be beautiful. Just don't. Where your uniqueness reflects. source that is in you.
to lead you with love. Feel the stick of this big blast of love, appreciation, and gratitude the Spirit has for you. You just here, sitting here in this reality, doing what you do. Without words to explain how much we appreciate that for you to be here on this magnificent planet, just being here, it's already enough. you hold the energy of the creative source by being here. And we love you and grateful for doing this. This word love is a pale description of how we feel about you. 